Hey everybody, uh, today we have uh, Jarek uh, on the channel. Uh, so Jarek has been uh, following me for a long time and then uh, basically um, he came into the program and stuff, right? And uh, I just want to say something about Jarek. Uh. It's like uh, the difference between the people who are successful and people who are not. And I see this pattern like very, very uh, evidently. It's the people who are successful. It's like you have the mentality where you're going to make it work. You just do the work and you just put your head down and grind. That's all. And uh, you just shut up and get results. Okay. And Jarek's like, um, <laughs> when I met him, he's like super hardcore. And I, I know it's like, hey, this guy, if he comes in, like he just does the work. You tell him what to do, he's going to do it. And, and that's why uh, he's successful. Okay. So let me just shut up right now. Uh, I want you to hear Jarek from his side as well as uh, let him introduce you guys, uh, him to you, to you guys. Yeah. Okay. Jarek, go ahead. All right. So my name is Jarek. So it's been about 22 and a half days since we launched. And uh, if we include distributorship, we are already, we've crossed six figures already. So how I got started is uh, I, for myself, I'm doing um, medical device. I create braces for kids with scoliosis. And I have this idea of having a recovery gear um, that anybody could use that is so easy and simple but that was four or five years back uh, it was on the shelf for the longest time then when the global pandemic hit uh, my wife told me to you know bring that project back and see if the market would react to it so what I did was I did a round of kickstarter and we were successfully funded for 100%. Uh, in fact, we have funded over $4 more. Right? Yeah. Then after that, after that, we got a pre-order. We were four to five month waiting time. Uh, we raised another $4,000. Then thereafter, we were, I was, when I say we, it's, it's just me, right? So, <laughs> so it was about four to five months of low period. Uh, during this time, we were preparing the shipping, the production and all. So when it's time to commercialize, which was back in 25th of April, uh, so it's slightly under a month, right, from here, it's, uh, you know, I was thinking, hey, if there is a blueprint that I could follow um, to accelerate my path to, to a stable and sustainable business, right? To, and success is a byproduct of this. So of course, like, you know the many, many student interviews that John has conducted, which is they found John to be a no-nonsense, straight up, in your face, results-driven, performance-proven with a series of track record, right? So, so I reached out to him. Uh, the first time we spoke, uh, he kind of uh, managed my expectation by saying uh, he too doesn't have the confidence in making this work, right? So, so it was... But that was back last year, late last year. Then coming to this year, it's um, I I saw his program was available. In fact, I've been stalking him on his Facebook group, yeah, yeah. on his Facebook page, on his LinkedIn, on his website, and on his YouTube videos. So what I did before coming onto this program, it's I would pause every frame by frame just to replicate the the exact flow of. Uh, the, the content that he's producing in terms of Facebook ads, which is the sexy part, right? And all the way down to the landing page and the, the funnel structure. So, so, I, I've, so what we saw was a very positive result. Now, granted, I, I'm just, in short, an engineer who create products with my hands, right? So marketing wasn't my, my forte, but... I managed to essentially plug and play his his formula just by visual. So so when his program comes in and say I give you everything, so you, it does not give you any reason not to be successful, right? I I waited and I I wanted to sign up. Uh, don't get me wrong, the the price was intensive, right? It was holy moly. So. So when he finally offered an installment plan, I jumped on the chance. I jumped, I followed. Execute. You, know? you execute, basically. Yeah, I executed it. So I, I bought the Kool-Aid uh, uh, and, you know, whatever he say, right, uh, in terms of like 
Okay, so the, the more important part, I think you what you viewers are, are, are understanding is probably is based budget aggressive, right? So I had no fear going in, knowing that this is a plan, right? So in my mind is that the cost of running a business or the startup cost, it's John's program, right? Plus all the other apps and all. If that fail, I lose, you know, like what, uh, 10 to 15K. But if I gain, I have, a, I have acquired a skill and also I have basically um, create a, a business and, and a brand, right? So, so, oh, luckily it's option two. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely I'll be showing you the, 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 the dashboard. You know, giving you an insider view of um, the numbers that we have actually pushed out. Uh, having said that, like what we realized was, I am the bottleneck of the business. So, which is, I'm doing the, the everything. Yeah, you're, you're everything now. <laughs> yeah, literally everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything you could think of, it's done. And um, I think moving towards the interview, I will tell you, like you know, um, the, um, the the ups and the downs, but overall how we should see it it's it's part of the game right it's business as usual it's firefighting all the time yep so i think with more hands on that you're able to seriously like bulletproof your your business moving forward or moving into towards uh, q4 so that's the thing right and with john's help you're able to literally you know pedal to the metal uh you know, ramp your ad spend very confidently. So you are literally spending like, have you ever spent like 5k a day? <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? You know, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. you're not buying a, a high value asset, right? So you're spending so much, but you're so confident that you just wish you could find a way to spend even more. So more. I, I, I yeah. think that is something that um, it's, one of the greatest takeaway, I think, probably from this video or for the other of the students' video. So, you know, without further ado, let me just jump to the dashboard to show you what yep. I can show okay. you. Okay. So, I mean, I gave you permission already. Uh, in the meantime, I just let you guys understand, like, uh, Jack's situation is like, uh, it's like, he started zero. I think he went out, he's on pace actually to do 100K per month. I think now it's like 50, 60K per month uh, right now. But, uh, no, uh, yeah. Uh, Facebook ads, uh, you know, we discussed this too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's just that uh, I think PayPal held him up. So his growth curve, <laughs> you can see for yourself, uh, it's like super, super aggressive. It's like uh, <laughs> zero to like 5K per day in a matter of what? I think two weeks or so. Am I right, Jerry? I think you go uh, to your analytics. Yeah, okay. Let me go to the analytics. So today's was, oh, but here's the thing, right? Like, um, Yesterday, I was on the phone with John, so a little back, background, right, is the phone with John to discuss, like, okay, what are the current problems and we should slow down the, the, the ad spend. So, um, so by seeing a lower ad spend, of course, the, the monthly revenue for the first month will probably take a hit, but I think it is best for the long term of the business, right? Mm. So, but when I did that, oh my God, the sales are still coming in. <laughs> okay, that's why that, that's good. Lah. That's good. No, okay, good, but there's also a bad. So, so don't get me wrong. Uh, I, I, I don't sell humble pie, right? So, uh, this is an indication that I should continue ramping up my spend. I mean, since the sales are coming in anyway, so yeah. you know, let me just hit it up, All right? Um, okay, let's go uh, from. So as you can see, uh, let's see this. April 1st to 24th. You see okay. this. Uh, so so you launched uh, which day? I launched on the 25th. So I showed them like three before, like literally. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, wait, did they see it? Yeah, it's literally zero. So let's go. So 24th all the way to today is the 17th. Oh, no, no. Today is the... May. May 19. You need okay. to press from the start. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so we are at 47, 45,000. Okay. Right. 
forty five thousand. So, uh, yeah. So one thing is there are different ways to further optimize this, including email marketing, including SMS marketing, including um, launching more creatives. Right. So right now I only have one creative for my cold traffic. But then I have five different copies, right? And all my five different copies, to be honest, it's a uh, John's template <laughs> that I tweaked it to my own. <laughs> so it works. Trust me, it's, when I say plug and play, it's literally guys don't have to worry. Plug and play the goddamn thing. Just play like you're playing on PlayStation. Command C, Command V. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it is a cheat code like you're playing Tekken or Street Fighter. John gives you that cheat code. Done, you know. So okay. So um, what can I show you? Um, online. Okay, I, I guess um, yeah. yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Mm, so our average order value is um at ninety six, ninety two. Hey, wait, wait. Give me a second. I need to do this right. So I've seen a lot of the videos, which is let me refresh the screen to show you that there is no gimmicks behind the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first interview, right? So I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, need to show, need to show everybody. Hey, this is real, man. How it's just, yeah. People, I know people are skeptical. So I wonder yeah. why people are skeptical. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Um, so yeah, ninety six, ninety two on average. So yeah, then you multiply by four ninety five. So you probably get this number over here, right? Our online store conversion rate is at two point one one. Um, so. As you can see from the start, we launched on the 25th. But this, when we, we started launching, it's I engaged an external media buyer who whom I thought that has the necessary experience, given that you know his ROAS was like five and twenty, right? On on a decent net spend. So, but what I did not consider was that he does not have the relevant experience in the the countries right so so uh, the, the the testing was uh, we we did have a 3x ROAS but our 3x ROAS was the inverse right so we spent about 850 to get 200 <laughs> bro, bro, <laughs> <laughs> Inverse, uh, inverse three. Okay, okay. Yeah, yes. in two and a half days, we burned through eight hundred fifty to generate two hundred forty sales. Uh, this is not a business. It's worse than being a non-profit organization, if you know what I mean, right? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> you might as well donate the money, but yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Like I'm literally giving away money to Facebook for people to buy my product. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But so, what? Then, so, then what changed, right? So what? Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, so right from the get-go, when he tests his first campaign, uh, I look at the way he's structure. it's, uh, you know, it's just, uh, he doesn't do uh, like dynamic creatives, right, to optimize what, what ads are being delivered. And at the same time, he's testing um, six different ad sets, but three ad sets and three ad sets are the same. Mm. It's just each ad set, individual copy okay ah, yeah so you know it's it's a very slow way of testing and yeah yeah it, it, to, to me it's maybe, time is money this is money yeah. yeah exactly and he's testing like uh it was 65 dollars per ad set per day Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Informed that we need to give about three days at least, three to seven days. So I calculated, right? Yep. 65 Probably times. That, yeah, correct. That is why most people are so afraid of working with media agencies because, like, they spend a certain amount of money and they're not getting results. But if, and I can totally relate, right? So if you never met someone like John who put his money where his mouth is, you're probably going to have someone burn through like, so think about it, right? Two and a half days, 850. So let's round it up to 800. Two and a half days, one week, you multiply by 2.5 times. 
I would probably burn through close to 1.8k to to get back six hundred dollars. Of yeah. course, I'll be like turn off completely and not want to touch ads. But I think if you you met a coach who who can show you the correct way, a more suitable way, a more appropriate way to to test, uh, uh to test uh marketing channels. To and and your spend right, I think you are in very safe hands right, and in this pair of hands, it's John right. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, don't don't have to talk so highly about me. This is about you, man. This story is about you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I I still, have, I still haven't talked highly about you, right? I can give you the flowery words and all, but no, this are uh, uh, the serious thing, right? Right, the number speaks for itself. So yeah. uh, a few things that you want to consider apart from this this graph. I, I love this graph, guys. It's, it's just so sexy looking. But more importantly, is the average order value that John highly emphasized. So uh, to combat rising cost per acquisition, right? And of course, the online store conversion rate that he also emphasized, which is this is the, this is one of the things that you can manage, right? So uh, to to make your store profitable. So this is the thing. Uh, I want to move into. Uh, Oh, wait, wait. Do you need a day by day sales? So uh, let let's go over the. Uh, no, no, it's no, it's don't it, don't it, don't it, don't it. All right. I just want to know, like, uh, at, at the high, right? For example, mm. did you did you hit six k yet, right? Per day. Uh no, I I I I've got a feeling like this week I could have ramped it up to six and push all the way to seven. Honestly, honestly, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, last week's call, it's I haven't touched three k, right? You were asking me, oh, no, no, not last week. Uh, the the first one. Uh, one of the Saturdays you texted me, like I think the previous Saturday, it's that, hey, Jerry, have you consistently maintained that three to four k? Yeah, 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 right? yeah. Because that's my next level. Because I'm always hovering around two point five k plus minus two hundred. Yeah. So after that conversation, and everything just falls in place naturally, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. I start getting more purchases, so I'm able to create more lookalike audiences, and I'm able to do middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel. All this, if you do not know, by the goddamn cost. So, uh, uh, the 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 thing is, all this fall into place very nicely, right? So instead of like, have I hit three to four k? Boom! I went up to like four point uh, four. Four four point something k, and uh, I could have maintained cr- beyond four k. But yep. like um, earlier this week, we start uh, scaling down our ad spend, so we do not have new traffic coming into our store. Uh, this is the yeah. Like for instance, right, thirteen uh, of May, what is that? Two point uh, two k. Okay. Yep. Uh, Twelve of May. I am going backwards, but. 2.7k. So so you get an idea. Moving into Friday. The momentum starts coming and just push, 2.8. push, push. Yeah, it's 2.8. So I have not crossed a 3k yet. Now come Saturday, we go for. Yep. Right. Oh, bear this in mind. As we go for our ROAS across the, the blended ROAS hmm. started improving as well. So Wow, it was a very uh, everything was good, right? Then we hit four point seven. Oh yeah, man! <laughs> this is where I told my wife, like, dude. Yeah, it's, it's a business now. Going back to working. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, my wife uh, uh, brought down my expectation, right? Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, four point six. We are good. Yeah, you see consistency, then you are you are conf- confident in the campaign, confident in, in the performance, etc. Yeah. Right. So every Tuesday, John has a call for uh, Australia, Asia, Southeast Asia, right? So we had that call. Ad spend ran down. Three point two. So I was like, I had this thought, like, and I was discussing with my wife, like, shit, like I'm spending lesser, but it seems like I cannot come down below two. <laughs> no, but no, I, I say this with the greatest intention, right? Because yeah, yeah John understand my situation and why we need to bring down that spam. Yep. It's just PayPal, yeah. Better. Yeah, exactly. So today, 
it looks like we're going to cross three by today's close. And we are at a 2.7% conversion rate. Oh my God. So, uh, yeah, you know, everything, everything looks fine. Everything looks good. <laughs> no, no, yeah. yeah, everything looks good. But, you know, we had some uh, problems and issues that we need to address. Yep. So, moving into the scaling part, then, you know, we have absolutely no fear, right? Yep. Then we can focus on new problems because each chapter has has its new fear, right? Like, for instance, one of the problems that I face is the PayPal hole that I have. So yep. PayPal hole about 8,000 US uh, for the past two weeks. And there's a upcoming about 8,000 US that is still waiting to like there's like 16,000 US, mm, you know, but then again, it's cash flow, right? So it's yeah. part of business. So it's just like a game. Be able to <laughs> that. Yeah. So one of the ways to combat it's uh, to find uh, multiple different merchants like you've seen on other YouTube videos, right? But more importantly is to understand that the business is just fashion in this way, right? So you have to see it as a way of like what you could do to work closely with PayPal, with Stripe, with Shopify, instead of, hey man, you know, I'm going to find other things. Granted, you have to find other things, right? Not a problem, but your mindset from the beginning has to be like, I understand this, I accept it. Like, yeah. I'm just move on, right? Just move on, like just suck it up and just uh, execute. Just shut up, you know? It's <laughs> like, complaining is not a strategy, basically. <laughs> John has drilled this countless of time, right? Not personally into my head, but throughout his whole video, it is just put your head down, don't talk, get the work done. The results will come, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. if you're spending way too much time uh, watching particularly, you know, e-com dropship videos, uh, and if you're not implementing or executing it, right, it's essentially wasting your time, right? So at the end of the day, Watching videos can mean one of two things. One, you're making money for yourself. Two, you're helping others to make money, right? So I think it's to spend your time wisely, right? So every second counts, right? And in, in for, for my case, I have a day job and I have a, a kid, right? 18 months. So yep. in the evening, uh, my time is dedicated to him. Uh, yep. that, yeah, uh, whoever tells you like, Dude, you, you can actually focus on your business, you know, that they can provide for your kids. You probably don't have a kid yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Understood. laughs> yeah. Understood. once you miss his growing phase, you, no matter how much money you have, you can't reverse that, that, that chapter in life, right? So, yep. of course, you want to spend time with him. You want to impart him values. At the same time, you have a business. So, he, your, your, I, I think like any business owner who has like far-fetched dreams or fairy tale like stories, go and have a kid so you can be more practical and realistic, mm. right? Don't worry about launching of ads at all. Seriously, John will be your discipline master in guiding you to the path towards success. So don't worry about that, right? Just go and have a goddamn kid. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! I love my kid, right? So, okay. Um, I I want to show you like the the conversion rate metrics. Um, so, so so we can see. I I think this is very important. In part, uh, I think the sales figures not so important for 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 my case, right? Because everybody is doing like what six figure. Uh, yeah, 500. Six figures like the norm. It's like, you're not doing six figures. I, like, I don't know what you're doing, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, you see, uh, from the start, right? 26. Okay, so we actually started on the 26. So, what? It's about, yeah, 22 days, right? 1%, 2.1%, 1%, right? So, you see, we were like hovering. So, as you can tell, one, one, one. These are abnormalities right here. So, it's non consistent. Right? So this is just pure luck, like seeing whatever sticks to the wall. Since we are still 1%, I changed something and I forgot what I changed because it's 5th May and I probably can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday as well. 
we came in. Wow, this is good, man. Right, right. So yeah, I was okay. so this. Look, look. Wait, six uh, of May. Wait, six of May is a a a, a Thursday. Six <laughs> of May is a th th Thursday. I can I can assure you. So I had this call with John. Like I I thought like, moving in. Oh my god, I'm highly confident. It's gonna work. So I start adding a bunch of stuff and making. Oh, yeah, I remember. Landing, landing <laughs> yeah. Look at the result. Three, yeah. Two point one. Whoa, that's a thirty percent decrease. Two point one. Whoa, that's a fifty percent decrease. Then whoa, that's another forty percent decrease. So from here, four days. Look, three point one to point nine. We are experiencing at least a two hundred percent decrease in conversion rate. Okay, so I, I basically told you like stop it lah. <laughs> right? You were like doing too much, right? You just completely like sorry, thought you were smarter than the market. Am I correct? Uh no, I I, I didn't thought I was smarter than the market, but I thought like in my mind was long form copy works, right? So yep. I need to really go full fledged long ass <laughs> Just Daryl like Johnson essay, obviously. People throw into their face, you know, and yeah. it doesn't work, right? And it cost me money to understand, like it doesn't work. So John's advice is, if it's working, please don't touch it, and instead you should be doing the the, the reverse, right? Don't touch it, increase the ad spend, and slide into the weekend. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, so that's what I did. So luckily. Uh, for, for my case, like I do remember things quite well. So I, I reverted back from here. We are back 100% increase drop. Then I, I understood something was wrong at the at to cut to check out series. Mm -hmm. All right. So I tweaked that part. So now we are very consistently 2.32, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, yep. 2. So we know, we know from here, it's profitable already. And this is stable already. It's no longer an abnormally. It's a pattern maybe down here, right? So I, I think that's really this. But in summary, look, look in summary, even though I have shitty performance and I have uh, itchy fingers, Overall, my conversion rate is 2.11. So my campaign overall, despite all my mistakes, it's slightly profitable. Slightly profitable. <laughs> mm. but, but the good thing is that I, I, uh, it's the first month, right? So I haven't actually go into like a very aggressive scale yet. I, I'm spending a small amount of money to learn mistakes, which I could have avoided if I just follow. Uh, the oxygen media program, which is John's program, right? But I, I did not. I choose to deviate, and diddy <laughs> the curve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, right. What is the you know, like? A lot of the times, people, uh, if you think about it, like standard business, you you open a restaurant, like you're thirty k off the bat, like negative, in the red. But then somehow, like on ads, right? People yeah. cannot stomach. Uh, you're spending money to acquire data. Right, so that's a very different mindset change per se. How yeah. how did you become comfortable uh, with that uh, after you understood like, hey, it's just it's just numbers, right? Why are you so emotional about the, yeah? Does yeah, that make sense? Yeah, I, I think it does. So okay, a, a few things, a, a few different levels to think about, right? One is the value of money, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you see the value of money, it's something that uh, that is something you. You, you, you trade with for, for a product or for a service, uh, then, of course, you know, uh, getting data, it's, oh my God, what the hell is that? You know, data don't put bread to the table, right? So, so but if you see like, you know, money is not a currency, right? But it is a value for, for something, right? Mm. So in exchange for, for that thing that you want, uh, it has to be in line with your business goals or your personal agenda. Only then, then you can justify the value for money. Right? Hmm. Like, otherwise, it's just impulse buy. Yep. So, so that is one mindset that you should be seeing. So the acquiring of data, like uh, moving by executing 
your program is that I understood that the value of money literally means nothing uh, to me, right? By buying a Rolex watch or by, by renting a Lamborghini for the weekend. Mm. But it means to the world, to me, uh, if I got a set of data and also, you know, uh, if all this fails, I could have said like, I spend this amount of money, I learn the ins and outs, right? So I have hands-on experience. So I, I think the, the value for money to me was uh, kind of, I understood that, you know, the data acquisition was my, was, was that value to me. Understood. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, uh, you were saying is why people can spend very high capex, right? Capital expenditure right from the get-go. Yep. And depreciate their value year on year. Uh, I, I, I think it's a very, uh, a very common business thing, right? Uh, don't, don't, yeah, because I'm in an industrial estate and all of us from level one to level seven, 15 units, level, we're talking about what, 139 units in one, as, uh, one building. We all have this same concept of business, which is high capex, non-asset like, you know, mm. a small amount of digital. And we think this is business, right? So mm. it, why I, I believe it has ingrained in us is that, um, you know, it, it's not easy to start a business. The capital outlay, the cash you need to cough up is high. Uh, true in, in, in one sense, but having said that, like with, with the pandemic and all, you under, we understood the fact that, you know, there is a global shift in consumer behavior or there's a shift in business model already, right? So if we fail to adapt this, then, you know, we, it will be very tough unless we have like a couple of millions of dollars inherited from our parents' insurance, right? That we can burn it through. Otherwise, it's every dollar counts and it's to be as asset-like as possible. So you switch everything from CAPEX to OPEX, which is capital expenditure to operational expenditure, right? Yeah. So the revenue and your expenses will just tie together instead of a high CAPEX, but then your, your revenue is like, COVID yeah. hit, boom, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. So... I think that, it's quite natural, like you're saying, right? Is, it, is what you're saying? Correct. Yeah. The the yeah. natural shift is in this. You see, uh, you you need to be very comfortable in in buying uh, data, right? Yeah. Buying data, and and trust me, like everybody is talking about data scientists, tap this, deep, tap that, VC, all this. We know the the the. Words or the most fashionable words is data, right? Your data. But why are we not willing to spend money to acquire this data, right? <laughs> you yeah, know, data is so, the most valuable. It's gold. It's gold, basically. It is. It is. Data. It's the number one commodity right now. I truly believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You really okay. My, my my follow up question. Can you go back to your analytics? The hmm. one. Uh, basically that month to date or whatever, right? Um, so like your your growth curve is very aggressive. You basically took a business from zero, basically, to like hundred k per month run rate, right? I mean, you hit fifty, yeah, like, congrats. But then the PayPal thing happened. But what? Uh, I guess my question is, for me, for example, right? I I know how to do it, right? So I I'm confident. Then my positive feedback loops telling me I know how to do this. I'm confident in myself, right? And I have no fear launching, right? But uh, for you, for example, it's like the people who run their own e-com stores, they only have um, experience in that one field, right? So all they know is that account, for example. So mm -hmm. I want to understand like how, I have no fear. <laughs> like, honestly, I have no fear. I, I have no limiting beliefs uh, per se, right? So what is that? How do you get that? Um, um, how, how are you so confident in that when, when you start launching? Because normal people, like, you know, other people, uh, I coach, for example, right? They're not like that. But for you, it's like, hey, just go, 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 go. Where, where does that come from? Okay, so so the thing is, um, you know, one thing is, again, like, let me go back to your video, right? So I, I watch all your videos, literally, like, I'm a stalker. If you can see, I'm wearing spectacles. <laughs> you don't know how of a creepo I am, right? So 
But back to all serious note is that when, when I notice your video step by step, like all the way when you were like, when you were talking slowly in the initial video to, to gain yeah. this, and over time, you know, that the confidence increased and you just 1.5x play speed your, 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 your yeah, yeah, yeah. all the way. Yeah. I, so I, I, I took all the free tutorials you offer on, on YouTube, right? So it gives me an understanding already. So what I did is I checked through the Facebook ad library of uh, the current uh, e-com stores that, you know, that has been targeting me, right? And I'm looking at their ads. The next thing is I go to their website. I see all of them have a similar flow, right? Mm -hmm. So so if the if what the big boys are doing correlates with what your video is showing mm. yeah there is a pattern a, a repeatable pattern which is why like you said you have no fear right yep. of, of executing it because now instead of one percent of the business uh focusing on net revenue uh, you know, I think your most recent video is like focus on top line revenue. Granted, your product from the get go has to be profitable already, right? Yeah, so profit course. is a byproduct of top line revenue. But yeah. in short words, and just you know, throw out like whatever that's the essential, or uh, you you just focus on top line revenue, meaning it costs you fifty bucks to acquire a customer for free. Like for instance, new startup that says my burn rate is this to acquire new customer but then I, I i think we are going in a very wrong approach right so uh i, I don't know should i be elaborating this or no yes no yes i i, I understand your point i understand your point yeah okay Would, okay do you want to elaborate for your viewers or uh i, I think it's fine <laughs> I, okay. I, I i understand it so i mean it's, it's fine like, you're quite clear okay. i understand understood uh okay for yeah how do you notice Pattern with John's um, 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 teaching, right? Uh, then, then you realize like, okay, this makes sense. Everything start clicking, right? So it's like, how do I get access to this blueprint that this architect has already created? It's a working thing. So if, if you want to talk about the, the, the facade of Facebook ads, okay, this is the one side of the things. If you want to talk about CRO on your landing page, Okay, this is the thing. You want to talk about uh, increase your AOV through a, a proper funnel. Okay, here's the thing. How do I get access to John's um, three facades of the thing? Now, now John not only offered that, but also the, 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 the complementing or the supplementary uh, side of the business, which is hiring. Uh, 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 the market research is very uh, service level. If you're not doing it already, you probably- That's good, uh, huh? <laughs> this is good. Yeah, you probably yeah. want to do so, you know. Otherwise, uh, you know, you end up blaming like, hey, John is not working. But then, you know, maybe you could ask yourself, like, hey, I'm not doing the work. <laughs> it, yeah. it doesn't work that way, right? So, so, so you probably want to do that. But more importantly, it's like what, what, what John's um introduction or not introduction, but his blueprint encompassed the. The paid acquisition side of the the full 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 spectrum of the paid acquisition side of the business. That's one, which is your paid tra uh, paid search, which is on Google or Yahoo YouTube. Then paid social, right? And then he starts bringing in the hiring side of things. Um, People don't talk about this. So oh, okay, so uh, I, I think like he gives a very a holistic approach to how your business should be. Yeah. So I, I think like, um, does that answer your question? Like why, why do I think this works? Uh, yeah, because you're just confident. Like you've seen, you consume the content, you understand. You have confidence in the ability to deliver and you just execute. Right? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people overthink it. <laughs> it's not, mm -hmm. it's not. It's like, because you, if you have never done it before, you've never seen something that you don't understand. You don't trust it, right? It's quite simple, right? And people uh, put claims, oh, 50, 50K per month, 100K per month in 30 days. Like, that's crazy. Because I think, I don't know about you, like the mentality of mentality of people is just, uh, 
I cannot get rich fast. Get rich quick is like um, taboo, right? But, but if you know how to operate business, if you just know cash flow, if you understand that, like it's actually quite simple. And then, uh, I don't know about you, so like a lot of times people think that, oh, in the first month, or first three months of the business, you're expected to make money. Actually, mm-hmm. if, if you don't make money, you just reinvest in the business. You'll be sm- in a much, much stronger position. And not only that, you're building generational wealth here because there's an email list, there's everything uh, involved. Yeah. And I, I don't know about you, but like a lot of people cannot think beyond three months, which is crazy to me because you're going to be <laughs> living life for like how many years, right? But they cannot somehow just not suffer. Lah. Cannot just like, you know, learn in three months time. Just... Yeah. I, I, I think so. It's, uh, you know, what you say is very true is that, uh, okay, for, for those people who can't think that long term, see, see in this way, right? Like big businesses are aggressively uh, gaining market share, right? We are, we, are, we are talking about the likes of uh, what? Uber, Airbnb, right? They might be operating at a loss to acquire that much. Yep. Uh, but their database is huge, right? So when this database is huge, you can potentially uh, extract more value out of them. So when we take this content and apply it to our smaller scale and towards our business model, then I think it would be a, 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 a better we, we can have better clarity on why we need to build a database or why we need to build, right? Because we are able to act, we are able to provide more value. In exchange, we are able to profit from it, right? By allowing people to benefit from our product or services, we can profit as well, right? So I, I think that is the, the thing that people should see in the long term. Yeah, so... Yep. Understood. Understood. For for you, for example, right, your uh family situation. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know about you, this is my uh perception now uh, when you came into the program and stuff like that. It's like uh you've got a child, right? Yeah. You, you've got you've got a wife that's in sense essentially, essentially it's like alpha female. <laughs> She's pressuring you, right? Uh there's a ton of pressure and a ton of uh expectation on you. So and with the expectation, you perform. I don't know about you, but a lot of times when people they just don't have that willpower to work or like they do have that drive like you just don't commit enough for, for you to make it work yeah. uh, so <laughs> I want to hear, hear your opinion on that, on that uh, I'm not sure whether you agree okay so I, I think in, in short, oh but Jerry you can stop sharing your screen if you want by the way uh, no nah, you can keep this as a nice backdrop because uh, if I show you this see my background is like full of crap so, so, <laughs> so yeah this looks prettier you know as though like I'm having a very clean office Okay. <laughs> so okay uh, as to as to to your to your um, assumption yeah to your point of view is that okay it's, it's very simple like are you able to operate under pressure right? so a lot of people say that no problem I will get my hands done and dirty but when crunch time comes can you literally can you literally operate under pressure right and and most of the time that uh you know, those who say they could, I would say 70%, probably 70, 80% wouldn't be able to handle the true pressure when it hits them. Yep. And that is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong. At least you've tried to get your feet wet in entrepreneurship and understand the hardship it brings. And it's not all the bloods and glory that, that you know, you've seen, uh, oh, how much people they raise, right? But... You, you need to build that tenacity or you need to build that very strong will to, to push it through. You, you have to do it and you and by and how you should do it is use your own money. Don't raise investment. No excuses. Yeah. Yeah. John is probably not in his 30s, who's working out of his bedroom. As you can see, his cupboard full of his clothes is at the back with uh, Big Ben, right? Sticker. So, and he has spent millions of ad spend with a pro- net positive result, right? Myself, it's, oh, okay, you know my backstory, right? So, uh, which is, you know, uh, a family guy with a day job and I'm doing everything yep. with regards to this new e-com uh, business. Right. No, no, 
uh, no way you could give yourself uh, an excuse. Because if you give your chance to, to come up with an excuse, you will most likely do the same and say, hey, John, seriously, what the hell, man? It's true, right? I, I think it's about reflecting and understanding like, and being honest with yourself, like, have you put in the work before, um, you know, pushing the blame to everyone else? It's very easy to push the blame to everyone else, right? So I, I think that is, that is the, the, you have to be honest with yourself, right? You know, you know like, can you, uh, are, are you cut out from the same cloth? Yeah. To be an yeah. entrepreneur. Yeah. I, I just, be frank with you, lah. like, I, I don't know, maybe because, like, from army, right? I was in recon. Then it's like, I look at people and it's like, they complain about life, but it's like, dude, do you even know what hardship is not? <laughs> like, yeah. So I, I don't know about you, but like, maybe I'm just too harsh on people. There's, you know, not, cut, not come from the same cloth or like, do have the same sort of like, hard nose mentality. But if you can't get it done, just say, you're not, you're not fit for it. You're not, it's not good enough. Yeah. And it's, it's okay, right? Like if you are, don't want to run a business, the business is hard. If you don't run a business, just say, you're just not good enough. Lah, right. Cool. And right. Just, yeah. Yeah, there is, there is absolutely no wrong in, yeah. in admitting that being a startup founder is not your cup of tea, right? You, yeah. you, are, you can accept- hey, Jobs are cool, man. Nine to fives are cool. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. like, seriously, my, my friend works in Facebook. Yeah. He paid uh, close to, uh, close to what? Uh, For 500K. Uh, no, 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 no. She's, she, she's oh. young, your age. <laughs> she's getting paid uh, close to five figures a month. Then she switched over to bike dance, uh, TikTok. I yeah. think, uh, yeah, also now it's uh, five figures per month already, right? So there is a stability and you still can get paid well, right? But then it doesn't come with all the problems that when you are exactly. back home alone, thinking emotional and, baggage. Uh, yeah, correct. Because if if it's too much of a pressure for you, before you go to sleep, you are thinking what is going to take, what you can improve on. And this is part of business. Everybody will face that, right? You will crack. And the, the only um, way you give yourself out is, let me just hire a man. You know, I have the expert. That, that, of course, you are not being responsible to your own uh, brand, to your own business, because you don't understand the business. How do you expect someone outside to understand your business. Seriously, yeah. Yep, understood. <laughs> mm. uh, I, I want to ask you more about the, the product itself, right? the brand. Okay, yes. I won't say the brand, now, but uh, basically you, uh, your background, background is in engineering, right? you said? Yeah. Yeah, so then you went into, not physiotherapy, I don't know what to call it. Is it physiotherapy? No. Uh, no, it's orthotist. So uh, I'm a brace maker. Okay, mm. then how, how did that transition into building this product for e-commerce, right? Is it like you saw the gap in the marketplace that you just went to solve it, et cetera, et cetera. How did that play out? Uh, yeah, it, it could be in, in the, the gap in the marketplace, but more importantly is that um, when I, I do my brace for the kids, don't get me wrong, I'm goddamn good at my job. The kids <laughs> are seeing very good results. I swear, I, I am good. And I have no shame in saying that. Seriously. Yeah, of course, of if course. I'm bad, I'll tell you I'm bad, I'll work to improve it. But if I'm good, hell man, I am good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. So, 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 uh, uh, but back then I was a, a active fitness person, right? To, to the level like I competed competitively in Spartan races. Uh, I got like um, uh, a little ambassadorship from Reebok, right? Oh, okay. So, so when you raise that much and you have that much training volume week on week, you realize like, oh my God, my body can't keep up. That, that's for me, my, my product, right? So, so I went to create something. Literally, I go to the bakery store, buy uh, whatever that's baking essential. So my, my mindset is, okay, uh, WikiHow says uh, this one has certain properties. So I buy this, I do that. I did a basic prototype. Okay, it works for me. Done, right? So I find a manufacturer, can it be done on a larger scale? Oh, it can be done. Mm. Right? So, so if it works for me, can it work for my friend? So I try it. Oh, it works. It works for them. And they find value in it. Okay, okay. Is it, maybe it's just my friend. 
let me just try hit out to um, let me just reach out to Instagram people who have like surgery people who are sport let's try let me go back to them don't get me wrong there's a lot of groundwork you need to like go from places to places just to get their point, point of view but all these are your market research right you understand what they're looking for and if they abuse it are they uh, are they aware of the problem or are they aware of the solution so you know that oh oh I did 12 14 uh, 12 or 13 people yeah. oh my god everyone oh, is like happy <laughs> yeah one, one, one did say like Maybe it's just in my mind, it's better, but I don't know if it works. I don't use it, but it is better, but mm. it's, it's just placebo. So so we know, we know already there is a consistency like this. Proof of concept, la, proof of concept. Correct, there's proof of concept. And proof of concept can be done. Okay, I spend like uh, less than 20 bucks to do my proof of concept. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. So, dude, it's not about 5,000, yeah? Yeah, it's so no excuses, are basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, if you can't get your prototype to work at, at whatever you can get your hands on, right? Uh, that means you probably, when it comes to manufacturing your product, it's going to cost a hell lot of money. Mm. All right. So, so think of ways you can get your proof of concept as soon as possible at the lowest amount of cost. Because what you're going to be spending on most of the time and most of the money, it's acquiring those customers who are willing to pay for your product, not at a discount, but at the value that they feel is justifiable to, uh, to solve their problem. Yeah. Understood. Understood. How, how does that, uh, let's go, when you sit, okay, I'm going to build this product now, for example, right? You go to your supplier, uh, get whatever you need to, to get, right? Um, how did your family uh, <laughs> react? Because it's actually going to a new business, right? You're basically like pivoting. Yeah. How, how, how did that conversation go? Oh yeah, I did not have the conversation with them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they just like, they just go in and just, hey guys, I actually doing yeah, this. Uh. Then they're like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So here's okay. the thing about Asian family, right? So the stigmatism is so true. My European friends who are watching this is that everything we do, we will fail from the get-go. <laughs> do, do you get that, John, from your from your parents when you started Oxygen Media? Uh, yeah, I didn't like, tell you. Oh my god, I'm so concerned. Oh my god, you need a day job. <laughs> do you get that? Uh, I didn't tell them. I was just like, hey, I'm doing this. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> then, you know, then oh, just results speak for itself, right? You know, you just, you, you can't win, right? You can't win an argument unless you get results. So results just like, hey, results. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I did that without informing them. I only informed them when I started uh, seeing positive results. Hey, look. Great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like, hey, it, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not about lying to them, but it's just withholding not honesty, right? You, you're just delaying information. You're just not telling them anything. Not, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, of course. Because you need to consider other people how they would react, right? Like God, jumping into a new venture, especially in this time, is it's like uh, mind crazy. Yeah, it is. It is right. So why are you giving up something that is stable for something into the unknown, right? And yeah, yeah. So 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 in my case, I I I could have approach the matter better by, by sitting down to them and telling them this is what I'm going to do uh, a more responsible uh, family member right so but I did not I choose to push forth and tell them later if it backfire oh my god you know the dragon yeah yeah they're, well, going, they're, they're going to kill you more than strangers on the internet basically correct correct Asian families ruled by the wooden cane have you got that in the past? Yeah, yeah. Of course. About 70 cents. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? So, so, so I got that, right? So I, I in a way, it kind of uh, grow me or kind of like build my, my, my resilience. Mentality. Yeah, correct. Because resilience package. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. Yeah. Right? So I was told like, you know, I, I, I'm never cut out for business. That's one. Uh, my product yeah. is not going to sell. That's two. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, you're probably going to close your business in one yeah. year. And 
Yeah, oh, probably no, not no, good no, enough, no, right? One, Some shit like that. Right, correct. The, the Chinese saying is Yi Nian Jian Hong. It, what it means is that the first year you will see red, right? It's not green, it's red. First year. Do you have that money to sustain you? You only see profit in three years. That is the Chinese way of thinking of business, right? Yeah. You know, because you don't run paid traffic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mindset, right? That has been ingrained in uh, the Asian communities, right? Yeah. So, uh, or maybe it's just me, but that, that's what you, you, you will hear this. Right? Okay. So, Yi Nian Jian Hong, first year, negative, right? No profit, losses, losses, losses. So, uh, I was brought up in this everything will fail everything can fail everything will fail. yeah you know so i i really resent that because i love eating popcorn and you know watching wrestling and loving <laughs> all the western things you know <laughs> <laughs> i want to lead the american dream yeah so 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 uh that you guys truly believe in dreaming, right? Going for it, pursuing your goals, right? Mistake is just a stepping stone to your next chapter in life. That's it. I, I really love this approach, right? So uh, that thing sticks with me, right? So uh, yeah, I, that's how that's how I, I have this mental game to, to push. Understood. Understood. I, I think especially if you, you build a product from scratch, then you validate it. And then people like see success with your product, right? Then that's I think the best feeling ever, right? As a founder, I'm pretty sure, right? So because you build for something from scratch, how, how did that, uh, I guess, what validation or what, uh, how do you even reach out to first, uh, people in the first place? That's first question. And then second question is, uh, how did you uh, take that validation and then transition, move on? Okay, so first question is, how do I reach out to people? Oh, on Instagram. Yeah. Done. They just DM. It's just <laughs> yo, man. Like I saw you have this thing on your most recent post. I'm so sorry, but hey, dude, I have something. Yeah. I just want your feedback on the prototype that I'm working on. Nothing else. I don't need your post. I just want your honest opinion, right? If it's good, give me a shout out. If it's bad, if you hate it so much, tell me. I'll work to improve it, and I'll give you a 2.0, right? So, so it's value. Like, like John is creating that positive feedback loop, right? But in this case, it's like having a feedback, positive, negative. But then you're giving yourself a, another way out, which is I will create a 2.0 a cliffhanger for you, you know? So, so that's one. So it doesn't come across super aggressive, like you're pushing them into something, but you just want their opinion and you have to get their opinion because you are nobody in this market, in this business, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, so that's how, uh, so that's how I reach out to them, right? And in part two to your question, it's how did I transition this yeah. the validation? How are you so confident to like move in the next thing and what's the next step? Yeah. Hmm. So I moved over to Kickstarter. Okay. Yeah, correct. So at Kickstarter, um, you know, uh, I was. Uh, mm, what did I do? Yeah, I, I put it up on Kickstarter. Yeah. Oh, so so I was told Kickstarter, uh, if you have clients who, who does Kickstarter, they know like there's a pre-launch email build-up phase of, I don't know, like at least minimum a month, but ideally it's two to three months. I did it in uh, two weeks with uh, two days of ad account ban. So 12 days. <laughs> but hey, I still get funded. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. So, so, so. Uh, what what this means to me in my small head is yeah. that uh, is that there is an actual uh, or the market is actually resonating to the product, right? So my product validation is there already. Yep. Now when I can come into e-commerce like last month, right, together with uh, John's program, is that. Now I need to find a price point. Are they willing to willing to give up? Price point? Yeah, correct. And it's not about the discount. It's you know, it, it, it's not about like what. Um, um, it's not about having the great fire sale one day flash sale seventy percent off and <laughs> do like don't dilute your brand. Right, you don't see iPhone giving up fifty percent off. So yep. Uh, but but granted, you can say iPhone is a big brand. 
back then when iPhone just Apple just started, they also don't give fifty percent off. Of course, yeah. you're gonna try the wrong type of buyer. Hmm. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So attracting the right type of buyer is very important, right? So that is one thing that you 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 really need to protect your brand equity. One, two, it's um, understand uh, who are your potential buyers, who are willing to pay the money that you are uh, wanting to get from them in exchange for the value that you'll be providing them through your product or service. Yeah, if you can't find those people, Honestly, that's good. Your, yeah, essentially, good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. You go watch. You, you go talk to any venture capital or whatever. All they say is, do you have distribution? If you do have distribution, right, you are <laughs> you just 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 get out of the office, basically. <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah. Oh, dude, like you know, I I, I jump into a, a kind of like a pitch deck for 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 startup, right? Oh, seriously? Uh, when when was this? When was this? Uh, my very first Thursday call with you. Uh, that's why I have to jump in and out of calls, right? So, this is BC or just a uh, startup contest? I think BC, BC. Uh, okay, so it, 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 it's kind of like a shark tank. Okay, so, yeah. Singapore. So, yeah, Singapore. It is very okay. good. They're providing all the, the investors panel are providing a lot of value. Yeah. But startup founders have this mentality like their business is worth 500 K, 1.5 million. I have no idea where, yeah, seriously. Yeah, uh, dude, seriously, right? My maths, I got like C6 in, in um, GCE O-level British um, examination, right? What this means to your US viewers is that I get a barely pass in my mathematical exam when I was a kid, but zero multiplied by 1.5 million is still zero. It's yeah. either that or I probably missed out on curriculum. I probably have slept in class. That's why. But but I have no... Uh, the, the fact that, you know, they come up with the idea like there's burn rate. Burn rate is equivalent to, guys, I'm asking for money. This is the amount of money I will be losing every yeah. month. Huh? You, you are literally from the get-go. It's kind of Funny. like finding the right customer, right? Yeah. You are you're having the wrong mindset already. You are Correct. losing money, you know? Dude, like yeah, <laughs> I I think the most uh toxic or pollutive thing about VC is like uh the, the founder is like uh I can spend money here. If you have the mindset you cannot spend money, I think you just be a lot more resourceful and just make it work, which is what you did lah, right? But people don't don't get that like they always think they go the VC route, but then they also don't understand that your your valuation is based on EBITDA. It's not even based on revenue. It's not based on top line. Yeah. <laughs> people value buy companies based on free cash flow, not anything else. <laughs> so, like, if you're not even profitable, like, just get out of please. <laughs> right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, at, at the end of the day, like, you hear from the side of investor is to have skin in the game, right? They want skin in the game. They want money coming. But, so, if you take that idea skin in the game to your, to your own self, to your own yeah. startup ideas, is you need to have skin in the game to feel the burn, man. You need to put in the money, the time, the work, Right? And yeah. all this, I mean, uh, I, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, marketing like Koyo, right, for you. So all this, it, they kind of grease the grease the, the approach, right? But yeah. what I did was I just bought into John's program wholeheartedly. You know, I did not question his thing, right? So uh, it, it proved my, 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 my business model. So uh, that, that's the thing. So I think like, uh, you know, you don't have to raise funds outside to, to get a successful business model. I'm sure you see a lot of drop shippers like doing that. But then of course, there are business kaput within the first year, right? Uh, second year. <laughs> hey guys! The second year is a, a few months already. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the second year is, I'm, uh, if you give me 30 seconds, I will share hey, with hey, you hey, three don't, don't, people. Don't, don't, don't. Oh. This on YouTube. This on YouTube. <laughs> oh, this, oh, there's something. Oh, oh, oh. I, I was. I, I had this dream. I had this dream. You know. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 I didn't know it's a real thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna. Yeah. So um. So I I think like it's 
it, you, you need to have skill in the game. But of course, like, you, you want to be very confident moving in. So if you're planning to ask for VC route, before you even do that, please, 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 just work with John in any capacity, right? With his, with him or Okay, him. this is all you, this is all you, not me. <laughs> oh yeah, Jack, you, uh, oh, we're talking about oh. the startup pitch. Oh yeah, the, the startup yeah. pitch, right, is... Uh, Okay, okay. So, so no, I, I asked you how you transition. So you said you're talking about the startup pitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, I think like startup founders have a very uh, wrong... Delusional. Opinion. Yeah, correct. They, here's the thing, like they've seen a lot of shark tank. Uh, according to uh, a friend who is part of... Of the model realism. They, they've seen a lot of shark tanks, so they're coming in with valuation. But one thing they don't realize is one, market size. US have like what? 320 million pop. Singapore have like 5.5 million pop, right? Moving <laughs> towards 6.2. Next thing, those shark has actually revenue, right? These people who are pitching is like, dude, it's what you mean. Oh, uh, yeah, well, dude, whoa. <laughs> you just throw in data science and AI and money. <laughs> like, you know, like you, you know, it's like even if you 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 know think think about it this way, like if you go and ask your dad for money, dad, I have an idea that's worth two million. Your dad will probably take the latest magazine from the toilet and slap your face twice. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, but now, now it's common. Now it's common, right? Mm. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. People people don't like making profit. Like, just run a profitable business. Why? Why you why you need extra money? Just do it yourself, right? Mm. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So I, I think we've gone for quite a while already, Jerry. But I guess we transition more, more to finishing up. I guess, uh, do you have any advice for people who haven't seen breakthrough, okay, don't don't say buy my course, please. <laughs> I want you to speak for your heart, really. Just okay. yeah, your so experience as a founder. For yeah. my heart, right? I, I think it's like um uh, for for people who are thinking of doing it, please by all means go ahead. But understand your if you are financially able to explore this new project, right? It, it, be it e com or high ticket uh, service, you want to provide consultancy, right? If you have the, the the savings for you to last through the next at least one year, right? Please go and explore new things, right? That's one thing. Uh, for 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 people who haven't explored entrepreneurship, right, or start their own business, they they want to do that. Please, by all means, go ahead and do that. It's a very fun experience that that. Unless you put your feet wet, you won't be able to share this experience or have the same group of people like, you know, uh, mingle about the same things. The next thing is for people who have already started their own business or are in senior management and are thinking of starting their own business or already started, right? Is that, you know, do not fall into the trap of like, because of my past experience, this way it's... You know, it's not working. It probably won't work. Like, don't, like, you know, like, be like me, right? I, no, seriously. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree. Absolutely you. no knowledge. Do it, right? I have one motto. It's called just do it. Wait. It's not that like very, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So it's not my motto. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but literally, like, just take action, right? And and and, and don't don't come in with a close mindset. Yeah, don't come in with a close mindset. You know, come in with everything fresh. Yeah, that's the thing for people who are experienced, right? Mm. Yeah, people who are non-experienced. Oh, you are the best, man! You are like a sponge waiting to absorb all those knowledge. But please get your information source from. Yeah, please get all your information from the correct source, right? So. Uh, that, that I think is uh, the, the biggest takeaway. It's to, to go in with an open mind and to absorb everything and just please execute the thing. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Ken, uh, is that it? You have anything else before I <laughs> Do you have anything else? Or 
Yeah, yeah. I think that's all, right? Okay. Can. Uh, so I'd like to thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Jerry, for your time. Spending like an hour plus with me. Uh, and oh, then it's been an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's been an hour. I know, I know you, you're busy or so. That's why I was like, holy shit. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, uh, thank you guys for your time. Um, and this Jerry, uh, if you want to reach out to him, I'm sure he's on Facebook somewhere that you can reach out to him. I'll maybe put a link in this description or something. Yep. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay.